All right, so check this out. What I want to do is do some analysis on this thing. I'm going to change some of these coordinates. I basically have two plots that I'm looking at. I'm looking at the x position versus the time. Um, I'm going to change the thing. I'm going to take a look at the velocity. Let's just look at the total velocity. Hmm, that's not very pretty. We'll look at the velocity in the x direction. All right, so this is the velocity that that thing is moving as a function of time. All right, and we can see here that there's some high points over here, and there's low points over here, and high points over here, and low points, and all that kind of stuff. Over here is zero velocity. So that's, that's when the thing is practically not moving. And then I'm going to change this coordinates to the y. So this is the height as a function of time. So the y position is, it, it goes up high over here, and let's take a look at exactly where in the video that is. That would be right about here. Whoa, 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 whoa. There. Right about there, and see you can see how this pendulum goes up to the very top, and then it's going to go down to the very bottom at its lowest height right there. I didn't set the exact uh, coordinates for this thing, so actually, you know, we can do that. Just take this guy, drag him down here. This will be called my y equals zero point right here, and then that rescales everything so that it's all appropriate. Um, as far as you know, what's going on and where. And I don't want to see that anymore, so I'm going to turn that off. There we go. I don't want to see this thing anymore, too. All right. So at the lowest point right here, it's at its highest velocity. Why is that? What's going on there? Where's that all that speed coming from if it's at its lowest point over here? Now, keep going. Boom, 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 boom. At its highest point over here, it's at its zero velocity. Does that make sense? Are we, are we cool with that? Do you understand why that, what's going on there? Um, and then it's going to come down. You can watch the picture over here, and you can see how the it goes back to its lowest point, and it comes. It's um, I wouldn't say it's its highest velocity. In fact, I would say this is the lowest velocity. But technically, this is a pretty high velocity. It just happens to be going in the opposite direction. Does that kind of make sense? And then there's a little glitchiness over here. Maybe the thing went a little faster than the jump was a little bit more than you know the thing anticipated. But that's the only piece of ugliness, ugly glitch. So if you haven't figured it out, I think it's really interesting to note that see this high speed that comes from over here, this high velocity that we're getting at the lowest point over here. This is kind of a direct um, understanding of how you can see exactly how potential energy translates to kinetic energy. Because if you're looking at this, uh, we have high kinetic energy over here and low potential energy over here. And as we go into high potential energy, which happens right about here, see where the height is the highest, we have a very, very small, close to zero, kinetic energy. And then it translates back and forth. Now, the equation 1 half mv squared, which is the equation for kinetic energy, doesn't take into account that the velocity is negative. Actually, it does take into account that the velocity is negative, but it doesn't care because it's squaring the velocity anyway, so it's always going to be a positive number. So really what we're dealing with when we're talking about energies, we're really talking about magnitudes. We don't really care necessarily about directions per se, but that's why this velocity goes down. If I would change this to the velocity, just the magnitude of the velocity, like that, you notice that it, it, it spikes up over here. It looks kind of different from the velocity one. And that's because I'm talking about the actual velocity that this thing is moving at, regardless of the direction it's moving at. So here's, here's kind of a better representation. I thought this graph would be, look a little bit more confusing to you then. But you can see here that every time this uh, y value, the height, gets the biggest, the velocity over here gets the smallest, or it's actually straight up almost close to zero. Cool? All right.